Well, hello, Andrew, and welcome to Belfast, the Cenotaph here. Why is Remembrance Day so important in Northern Ireland? Well, traditionally, a, an extraordinary amount of young men and women uh, serve in the armed forces. And this year, they are not too pleased. Frustration from them, from the armed forces here uh, in general because the legislation that was meant to be in place for them to make sure that they weren't continually brought back to answer things that happened during the Troubles in Northern Ireland. You may remember that the IRA were handed letters of comfort during the Good Friday Agreement but the door was left open for the prosecution of soldiers and that is very, very frustrating for them. That legislation was meant to be in place. It was basically making sure that they couldn't come back and of course the last soldier that did come back was none other than Dennis Hutchings and he died while on trial in Northern Ireland and he was buried on Armistice Day last year. Now the IRA, if you remember, did blow up the um, Remembrance Day service in Enniskillen, injuring 63 and killing 12. And Paul Young from the Veterans Association spoke to me and told me just where they were with this at the moment. Yes, well, last year was probably one of the most disgraceful episodes uh, in the legal history of Northern Ireland as far as veterans are concerned. Because this time last year, we were burying Dennis Hutchins. He was the first soldier to be prosecuted under the legacy uh, uh, witch hunts. Um, unfortunately, Dennis, uh, he, he died before he could finish his trial through uh, uh, illness, serious illnesses. He was denied the, um, the right to be found not guilty. And that's why we've been protesting for people like Dennis and all this legacy witch hunts that's been going on, which has been taking our soldiers and security forces to court rather than those that committed the most horrendous human rights abuses against the public of Northern Ireland.